This play was a result of a commission by the Oregon Shakespeare Festival for their American Revolutions project. And Bill Rausch, who is the artistic director and became the director of All the Way, uh, approached me here in New York, actually, um, several years ago about this. And I was very excited by the prospect because I had, um, and, and very quickly went to the notion of LBJ. <clears throat> uh, why? Um, the notion of the American Revolutions Project was to do with American history what Shakespeare did with Tudor history, to, to take the familiar stories of our historical um, uh, uh, legacy and make drama out of them. And um, LBJ seemed to me to be a natural in that regard because the, the man himself was so large and outside so Shakespearean, if you will, in his virtues and his vices and his ambition and his needs and his failures and his successes. So there's something really appropriate about LBJ as a subject. As to why I personally have been interested in LBJ, um, my family actually knew President Johnson uh, casually from a professional sense. Uh, I grew up in Austin, Texas. My father was a uh, pioneer in public television. He had been brought down to the University of Texas to set up the first public television station and public radio station in the entire Southwest. And um, the first thing he had to do was go to, I believe then, Senator Johnson and get his permission because said television station would have been in direct competition with LBJ's own television empire there in Austin, which was at the heart of his somewhat controversial fortune. Uh, I'm pleased to say that um, <clears throat> Senator Johnson not only gave his uh, blessing to this project and his support, but he would later, of course, go on to sign into law the Corporation for Public Broadcasting Act, which created national television, national public television as we know it in this country. So he was, he was actually a believer. Um, my own relationship with LBJ has evolved tremendously over time. It is the very first presidential election that I clearly remember. And uh, my family were rabid Democrats, uh, huge LBJ fans. We thoroughly believed that if Goldwater won, World War III would erupt. And so this was not just a political victory, it was a moral victory. And I remember the excitement leading up to the event, and I remember being allowed to stay up and watch it on television as the returns came in, and it was, it was great. I was, was a thorough LBJ man. Um, several years later, as I'm approaching draft age, um, not such a big fan. Instead, I have a very different feeling about LBJ because now Vietnam is in full throes, uh, and, uh, and I'm protesting in the streets, and I have a very different feeling about it. Um, Twenty years later, I'm married, I have children, I'm an artist. Uh, I find myself, uh, in fact, uh, very dependent on many parts of the social safety net that were, in fact, created under President Johnson as part of the Great Society, and I have yet a different feeling about LBJ now. Um, and then certainly in the last three years with the very extensive reading and interviewing I've done on the subject of Lyndon Baines Johnson and his two administrations, I have yet a different feeling about the man. So it's been a real interesting journey for me as an individual and as an artist in terms of this character.